Hello, this is Andrew from Morgan and Morgan and Morgan. How may I direct your call? I'm not really sure. I was in an accident and somebody gave me your number. I'm sorry to hear that. I can definitely assist you with that. To get started, can I have your name, please? Michael Spencer. Thanks, Michael. October 28, 1978. Got it. Could I also have your social security number? Is all of this necessary? I understand your concern, but this information is necessary for us to properly assist you with your case. Rest assured that we take privacy and security very seriously. Your information will be kept confidential. All right. 1186. Appreciate that. What's your address? I live at Street, Daytona Beach, Florida, 32119. Can I get your home phone number? 334. One, one. Do you have a work phone number? Uh, no, I gave you my cell phone, and that's the only phone I use. Understood. What's your email address? Mike Spence. Which method is best to reach you? Um, text and then a phone call. Unless I know the number, I don't generally answer it. Understood. When's the best time for us to contact you? Evenings. Are you married, single, or divorced? I am single. Do you have any children? None. When did your injury happen? Last Friday. Where did this injury occur? I was at the, the Walmart on Bevel Road. I'm not really positive of the address, but it was the Walmart on Bevel Road in Daytona Beach. Can you tell me how the injury happened? I was done shopping, and I was trying to back out. I was in a parking space. I was about two cars from the end, and as I was backing out, this man quickly turned into the lane I was in, and he crashed right into me. Who do you believe is responsible for your injury, and why? Oh, I mean, it was it was obvious. It, the guy didn't even look. He just he turned really quickly and crashed into me. It has to be his fault. Can you describe your injuries for me? Yeah. Um, I basically got whiplash. Have you seen any doctors or healthcare providers prior for this? I'll need their names and contact info. Hello? Hello? I'm still here. Oh, Can you hear yeah, me? yeah. I, I basically got whiplash, and it hurt my back. It was like when he... I understand. I, Have you seen... Yeah. Have you seen any doctors or healthcare providers for this? I'll need yes. their names and contact info. Um, I'm not exactly sure of, the, of their names. I could get that to you. I had An ambulance took me to the hospital. Uh, I stayed overnight, and they released me the next... I understand. When you have the information, please let us know. Okay. I'm sure it's in the paperwork. That's understandable. What are your total medical expenses to date? Oh, right now, I think they're right around $7,000, but I have some more tests I have to go take, and I, we don't know, you know, what's going to come next. It, it's not even a week that this thing happened. Do you expect any future medical expenses? Yeah, I got to go back to the hospital. And after I go to the hospital, you know, see the doctor, I know they're going to charge me. And if they prescribe me anything, I mean, yeah, there's going to be more expenses. Can you list the insurance companies involved? Yeah. So what happened was right after the accident, you know, the, the, the police came and we exchanged insurance information. Understood. Have you contacted your insurance company about the accident? Yeah, at the time of the incident, I called them up, and they they got the other party's information, and they told me to give the guy that hit me out my information. Have you lost income due to your injuries? Well, I haven't been back to work since this incident. Can you tell me the amount of lost income? I make around 1300 a week. What was your income before the injury? 1300 a week. And your income after the injury? Well, I mean, I still get paid the same amount. I just can't go to work right now. And, you know, I have some sick days, but if, if I can't go back to work and I run out of sick days, I'm going to get fired. I understand. Where are you employed? Oh, I'm employed at, uh, it's called Daytona Beach Sunshine. What's your position there? I'm a general manager. Can I have your employer's address and telephone number? Sure. Sure. He, my employer. Are you currently address, working? Yeah, it's 1515 North Atlantic Avenue, Daytona Beach, Florida. Thank you. Are you currently working? No, I, 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 you know, I'm out of work right now until I find out what's going on. 
Do you expect to return to work? I mean, eventually. I mean, this isn't life-threatening. It's just that right now my back and neck are in very bad shape. So I, I understand. Are you in pain right now? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. I didn't, didn't. I'm sorry about that. Are you in pain right now? Can you describe it? Oh, oh yeah. Man. Yeah. It's a, In some parts, it's really tight. And in other areas, I'm throbbing. And there's lots of swelling. And it, it's really large. It's been enlarged. You could see the area, is, and it's not, it's pretty painful. I can't turn my head left or right without experiencing pain. And I don't like to say this, but it really hurts when I go to the bathroom. I'm sorry to hear that. How else has your life changed because of your injuries? Well, now I'm just like sitting in the house all day and. I know that's not good for my health, and it's really hard to get comfortable with my back the way it is. So I'm, like, un- uncomfortable all day long. Usually I'm in between standing and sitting. Sometimes I'm, I even lie down. I'm sorry to hear that. If you're married, has your spouse experienced any losses due to your injury? No, I told you. I'm single. I apologize for that. Do you have names and contact details of any witnesses? Um, No, but the entire parking lot, is under surveillance, so Walmart got that on camera for sure. That's good to know. Have you consulted any other attorneys about this case? No, you guys were the first ones I called. Is your relationship with the attorney ongoing? I just told you, I I don't have another attorney. I apologize for that. Has any attorney declined to represent you in this matter? No. Thank you for providing all this information. We'll review everything and get back to you soon. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, yeah. So, like, what happens now? I mean, is, is this something that you guys are going to be able to help me with? Yes, we will do our best to help you with your case. We'll review the information you've provided and determine the best course of action. Okay. You can expect a follow-up from us soon. Okay. Have a great day.